So this is my uh, AMD Athlon 64 3200 plus base uh, computer. As you can see right there, I put the AMD uh, Athlon 64 sticker on there. So I built this computer back in 2004. And I uh, put this, uh, put the motherboard, the motherboard is a, uh, it's a KV, it's an A-bit KV-8MAX3 motherboard. I, I have the original um, manual, but I don't have a box, don't have that. I have the original uh, drivers for it as well. That's the original driver. Disc, it has Windows 98 and uh, Windows um, XP drivers. Has both. So I'll open it up now. I put the motherboard in this nice aluminum case. So that's basically the motherboard. It uses DDR uh, DDR1 RAM. And I put a 250 watt power supply in it. It's a ATX power supply, but it only has Molex uh, power connectors on it. It's an old power supply. The good thing about this computer is that it has SATA ports. The problem is you can't use SATA ports in Windows 98. That's the operating system I have installed on this computer. See, as you can see, it has a... I don't know if you can see that or not. It has two um, SATA ports right there. And it has four more as well. Has uh, four more SATA ports as well, as you can see right there. So it has a total of six SATA ports and two IDE ports, which are right there. There's one, and there's two. They're both connected. ID devices and it has the S3 Verge 2 megabyte uh, PCI graphics card. I just ordered a um, GeForce 5200FX uh, AGP graphics card and that will work on a um, that will work on Windows 98 for sure. And 
another problem I have with this motherboard is even though it has um, Windows 98 drivers for the AC Realtek AC97 um, sound driver it doesn't work in Windows 98 for some reason so I also ordered a um, Sound Blaster Autogy PCI uh, sound card as well which wasn't a lot of money it it was less it was about 10 bucks which is not bad and the graphics card was about 15 bucks and with shipping and everything it was like 20 20 dollars that's not bad because uh, originally when I had this computer when I built this computer in 2005 um, it had a GeForce 5900 XT with 128 megabytes of VRAM and it had about a gigabyte of uh, DDR Corsair XMS DDR1 RAM it's PC 3200 I think that's the RAM module I had two of those so I had about a gigabyte Initially, I started out with uh, 512 megabytes, and then I upgraded it to a gigabyte. But in Windows um, 98, you're gonna have problems if you use more than 512 megabytes of RAM. So I just put 512 in there. And then another problem I have with this motherboard is uh, with the PCI. I'm sorry, not the PCI, the USB uh, port, which you see right there where I'm flashing. Uh, the problem is that uh, this is USB 1, as you can see, the motherboard. But the case has USB 2.0 ports. And the problem is, I can't connect the front USBs because the connectors, front connectors, USB USB connectors are different. So I can't use the front USB at all. That's another problem that I have with it. But that's okay, I want to use the USBs in the back. There are plenty of USB ports in the back. you can see there are four USB ports there's a firewire never used it a network LAN port there's a audio ports and uh, <clears throat> I think that's a PS2 bus ports for the mouse and keyboard and another problem that I had was when I installed Windows, you can't use USB uh, <clears throat> ports to install Windows 98. You have to use, um, for some reason, um, it's not responsive when I'm when I'm booting into like uh, <clears throat> Windows with um, USB uh, keyboard or mouse, it's not responsive when I'm installing Windows or using FDisk. So I have to use a serial, uh, I mean a PS2 bus keyboard and mouse. I already have those, so I was able to install it. So I'll show you the PS2. Uh, bus mouse that I have. So it's this thing. It has a PS2 port. Like right there. And it's an old um, ball mouse. I think I bought this back in 1990 seven or something it's very old it's ancient
so there's a weighted ball in it basically and you have to clean this out once in a while because it gets dirty you have to clean the rollers on it there's like rollers in, in it you hear it there too that part gets dirty and you have to clean it out you have to do that a lot when you use the ball mice like this I can't believe this thing works this thing is this thing has to be over 20 years old glad I kept it these uh, these old mice never seen one break ever seem to last forever I want to power up this computer and uh, show you that I installed Windows 98 on it. In this case, um, it's pretty nice. It could hold about, let's see, one, two, three, four hard drives in it. One, two, three, actually five. One, two, three, four. Five, five, uh, three and a half inch hard drives. It has four, five and a quarter bays. One, two, three, four. So it has plenty of room for expansion. That's the nice thing about this case. put it back in now. put this thing back together these Molex connectors are really hard to get in because it's you have to align it exactly it's a pain in the neck because that's why they made SATA ports much easier to get in I got this motherboard and CPU because uh, AMD was advertising it as a 64-bit system but there really wasn't any 64-bit uh, operating system to use this on which uh, kind of defeated the purpose of having a 64-bit uh, processor in the first place so I never used it for any 64-bit uh, programs. It was just a gimmick. I'd say it was a deceitful on, on their part to advertise it as such. Now I'm going to power this thing up, okay? Now I'll be starting up my computer. You see the KV8 Max logo. Um, let's see. The CPU is a AMD Athlon 64 3200 plus, so it's running at 204 megahertz or 2.04 gigahertz. The clock setting is at um, 204 megahertz, and the multiplier is 10. 
And CPU voltage is 1.5 volts. Okay. So I have um, a 40 gigabyte hard drive and uh, the ID slave for channel 1 there's there isn't anything in there uh, for ID channel 2 master that it, I have a, a CD-ROM 32x a creative labs uh, optical drive and my secondary drive is a Sony CD-RW DVD ROM drive don't have any floppy disks in this computer so I have uh, 512 megabytes of RAM so the computer is running at the system temperature is 91 degrees Fahrenheit, 33.3 degrees Celsius. CPU temperature is 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The PWM temperature is 43 degrees Celsius, 109, de 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So the aluminum case is nice because it keeps the computer cool. I'm going to boot into the operating system. Yeah, so if you want to install Windows 98 on this uh, on, with this motherboard you need a uh, you need a I forgot what it was called is a serial bus or PS2 it's a PS2 um, keyboard and mouse because like I said before USB isn't gonna work it's not gonna function when you try to go into F disk or install Windows 98 Okay, now I'm in Windows 98, and as you can see the sound doesn't work, the onboard sound doesn't work, for some reason. So the system is running Windows 98 version 4.1.4.10.1998. So it's registered to this. So this computer detect is detected as being an AMD Athlon 64 3200 plus processor with 512 megabytes of RAM. This play driver is a STB Nitro 3D S3 Verge. So I have two optical drives in there as you can see. So I'm using a USB mouse and a keyboard, okay. The monitor, that's that's right. It is that mount. It is that monitor. See the Realtek AC97 audio driver is not audio device is not detected. It's telling me to update the driver. Try that. It doesn't work. So I guess the only thing I could really do is I also tried this to set the to change the 
input output range. That doesn't work either. You know, I tried to change it to this, it didn't work. Just gonna leave it. Other than that, Windows 98 works, so. I'm just gonna use, I, I just bought a Sound Blaster, Sound Blaster Autogy PCI uh, sound card, like I said before. And um, I'm sure that will be detected. That would work for sure, because that was uh, made during the time Windows 98 was, uh, was used as an operating system around 1998. And uh, I bought a, another graphics card. It's a GeForce 5200FX. Because I took out the GeForce 5900FX and put that into the Dell Dimension 4600. So I don't have a graphics card. I'm just using this cheap old S3 Verge PCI graphics card I just found somewhere. Yeah. So I would like to um, put in a sound card and a new graphics 3D accelerator video card and uh, see how many games this computer with that configuration can run. So I'll be making a video about that after I receive my parts from eBay. But everything else did work. I was able to install Windows 98 successfully, as you can see. Everything works, except for the sound. Let me try some of the games. I forgot where the games were. It has online services. These are no longer active. Channels. Those are no longer active anymore. I think these are websites. Yes, they still have Bloomberg, ABC, CBS. CNN and all that, Fox, Disney, ESPN. They put it all into this convenient folder. It's kind of like a channel or something on a television. I'm trying to find the games on this. Yeah, there's no games on it. That's good. I know Windows 95 had games on it. Anyways, uh, I will be making another video about this computer uh, with the new hardware and I will run some games on it. So thanks for watching and see you next time.